get started here, uh, what an honor and pleasure to actually have an opportunity to kind of demo a little bit of uh, some food for you guys today. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, I was always the guy in the corner beside uh, Liz here. Usually when you guys have your seniors and your coronation and stuff. So um, when I did it, I got to enjoy good food. That's what I always remember and a good experience. And many of you guys are like great dancers. <laughs> but, um, when, when, when I actually asked this question, the first thing I actually was a little bit taken back on is my wife knows I don't cook for many people. Um, it's just a personal choice of mine that just kind of always has been a little bit of a passion, a passion that I kind of discovered late in life. So today, before I even start, if you guys are okay, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story of why I chose uh, the, the product I did today um, and the kind of what the experience was behind it. I think the most important to connect people Okay, so 
so because I don't have the luxury of the ocean of catching a salmon today, we already have salmon prepared, okay? So uh, that will make it easier for today. But I'm going to go through the ingredients list. And I think what was important here was kind of to keep it as simple as possible so that you can make it at any time. So all these ingredients here you could have at home already or even like uh, you could have it in your freezer. I, I, I won't lie, we, we actually ordered this salmon. For us. What's that? Not enough for you, but there's a whole plate for you as well. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Yeah, okay. So, um, for salmon and stuff, you can always you know, have it in the freezer in your pasta overnight. Most important is have it filleted, deboned already, and then so you can chop it into pieces. What the what, uh, species? This is Chinook. Yeah, so with this one here, I, I, my favorite actually is sockeye salmon. So in, in BC here, it's the richest, the highest amount of fat. So you get a good flavor, right? The salmon condition is very dry. So with this Chinook, actually, I've added a little sesame oil, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of soy sauce, just to let it sit overnight. Because if you just put it on its own, then it can be quite dry. I've chopped into bite-sized pieces already, so we won't go too long. The next one is pork. And the, the pork is, I know, I know, and I, I asked that question because I was... <laughs> so, with ground pork here, uh, I my preference is use regular pork. I know some people like to say, let's go with lean pork, but you're doing the one ton in small size. Keep uh, a regular pork because again it keeps the moisture into your one punch, right? So that it can be flavorful. Uh, the next one here is actually something that uh, a lot of you know Chinese restaurants might not use, but uh, I believe it's a good texture piece too. Is is, is water chestnuts? Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of you guys have used it in your cooking as well. Um, this one here, finally, let's just get the canned ones, the whole ones. Finally, chop it, and then it goes in. There. The next one, green onions, uh, obviously a good flavor, uh, grated ginger. Um, I know a lot of Chinese ones don't use grated ginger as well, but I do believe with uh, the seafood, the salmon, it does work very well. Okay? And the next parts are just very easy, um, you know, sesame oil, uh, soy sauce, sugar, salt and pepper, just in case. So this is a pretty simple demonstration. We're going to put all these items basically in a bowl, um, and then we're going to be back. I will also, and, and this is actually, uh, I was told this morning that maybe I should share a little bit why I don't use it in the bowls. Um, and this is a different, me and my mom will always have a, not an argument about it, but we will have always a different the reason why I don't use any marinades or anything like that is because any vinegar, citrus, anything can actually break down on this. So I basically just rough chopped the, the scallions there. We put that aside there. The next preparation piece is uh, about 10 water chestnuts and then a little bit of ginger. But for the sake of today, I won't be chopping this all up. I'm actually going to be using automated food processor. So. You guys have made one ton before. One ton. Excellent. Mm -hmm. That's one awesome. time. Well, one thing I love is, is one ton kind of a staple food in, in, in Chinese cuisine. And you can see a lot of their you know, restaurants and stuff. It's usually the first two, right? One ton in soup, one ton in noodle and stuff. And, and the great thing is every region, just like uh, Filipino food too, will have different variants. And stuff. So the one thing that I, I've learned is, is one side, my grandma used to make just pork one time, and it would just be like that. But the other side, because they had uh, influences from the sea, they did use a lot of shrimp and all those items. So, and that's actually the one that I've enjoyed the most. 
So when I replace this, I, I replace that uh, shrimp with one. Uh, don't use but I do find adding one uh, one piece of garlic is, is really good with the salmon one already there and then we have some of our liquids right which is our sesame oil soy sauce and uh, some salt and pepper uh, I like to use white pepper um, and I know a lot of you guys have used this in the past yeah. too it's, just, uh, it's nice and fine and pretty delicate mild flavor There's a, and I wrote on that, that there's about 10 different ways that you can wrap a one pump. Um, and we actually probably wrapped about four of them yesterday. But uh, Liz here actually came up with this one. Just, just wrap it in triangle. Let's try it, deep fry it. So we did. It probably gave the, uh, the crispiest uh, type of skin. Uh, it still cooked it nice and quick. And it floated up quite quickly. So it, it's a pretty light flavor. So that's what we really enjoy. But traditional one time, which we can show you after too, that we've actually got started and stuff, so it'll be a lot of fun. So this is just sugar. I put one, about one uh, teaspoon. Uh, because today we are not letting it sit for overnight, I'll put it just a little bit more. So that, uh, make sure that right about. Yeah, it'll be about three minutes, so we're, we're ground. Salt too, I like to use coarse salt, so a little bit thicker. So when you deep fry and stuff, it, 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 it breaks down in the middle, but it actually gets flavor pockets instead of just the flavor. One tablespoon of cornstarch. gives a good strong flavor. Yeah. This one here just mix uh bring through now. Take just the one one hun wrapper. Take uh, a little bit of meat, little bit of meat, put it right in the corner here. Right? So most important is when you take the water and dip, just dip the one quarter. Some people use water and egg wash, it makes it up, but really for this purpose water is just fine. Um, yeah. Pinch the two together, okay? Here is where I can show you a few different variations. Well, another variation is kind of like a flower. You can put it towards in there, right? So it'll have four sides, okay? And again, the one that just wraps like that, right? It goes like this. There's one actually, this is the one that you, you see when you go to the Chinese restaurants. And uh, this one here is because speed and just consistency of look, I, I, I think, is very easy and they're so like I, I they're an expert I actually don't roll one time very well right in the middle here yeah and then just wrap it just wrap it it goes right through your finger pinocus non wrap pinocus right so you just 
Pinotos. In, in, the, in our dialect, it's called Pinotos. Pinotos. Okay. Pinotos Exactly. There you go. Yeah. There's about six different type of wine types there. That's right. Very nice. I want to want to new. Yeah. Oh. And actually just keep wrapping side to side. Like oh. This. Yeah. Right? So that That's gives you... Shiu. This is Siu Kao. Siu Kao. Yeah. yeah. Style. So that one there just wraps around, right? Like that. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. And that's okay. it. So everyone will have a chance to do this. I've got lots of wrappers, lots of meat. But let's try some food first, okay? I will tell you what's in each one. And uh, so this one here is kind of, you know, shirachi, a little bit of spicy, the, the red taste in there. Mm -hmm. Very little, just for, for color right yeah. there. Okay. But most of the places you go Japanese restaurants, they use shirachi and then use mayonnaise, right? Yeah. It's quite good, but it's also quite uh, heavy too. So I've actually substituted it with sour cream in this one here. And um, I actually mix it, so I make uh, homemade um, like mayonnaise and, and aioli and stuff. Actually, there's some olive oil in this too, so it's mixed that way. So that one can go along with this. The other one here too is actually uh, ginger, green onion, um, mirin, which is a Japanese uh, sweet sauce. Um, um, Scallions, and I blended this too. So usually, use instead of a dipping sauce now, you can pour a little bit on each. So it's, kind of mm. so it's up to you. You can try one of each. So you have this one here. You have to squeeze. No mustard. So this one you can squeeze. This one here, please don't squeeze. This is a liquid. Just drop it onto it. It's very strong, very concentrated, salty. Okay.